you are witnessing one of the most ambitious architectural projects in Vietnam, the Long Tan International Airport Project. This is one of the key infrastructure projects of Vietnam, expected to become the largest aviation hub in Southeast Asia, with a total investment of up to $16 billion. This project not only addresses the overload situation at Tan Son Yat Airport, but also enhances the competitiveness of the aviation industry in Vietnam. In today's video, let's explore together the challenging yet proud journey of building Long Tan Airport from the difficult early days to the modern technologies applied to create a world-class super airport. What is the current progress? Will Vietnam be able to complete phase one on time? And most importantly, how will Long Tan change Vietnam's aviation industry? Let's find out together to understand why this is called the project of the century and what future awaits Vietnam when this airport officially begins operations. Envisioned as a giant lotus flower in bloom, the passenger terminal of Long Tan Airport is a highlight of unique architecture, fully conveying the spirit of Vietnam. The lotus idea is not only present in the main structure of the terminal, but also extends to the lush green park area and the central lake on the parking garage roof, creating a harmonious and impressive space. Especially the main canopy with a large span, combined with delicate smaller canopies at the viaduct area, reminiscent of soft closed lotus petals, all together creating an unforgettable impression of the national flower of Vietnam, welcoming international visitors from the very first glance. According to the master plan, the location of Long Tan International Airport is in Vinh San Commune, Long Tan District, Dong Nai Province, 40 kilometers east of Ho Chi Minh City, 43 kilometers from Tan San Nhat Airport, 30 kilometers southeast of Vinh Hoa City, and 70 kilometers north of Vung Tau City. To acquire land for the project, Soi Trao Commune was dissolved, and adjustments were made to merge and establish hamlets in Vinh San, Cam Duong, Long An, Long Phuoc, and Bao Can in Long Tan District. Before the first bulldozers appeared, the government had to carry out one of the largest relocation efforts in history, involving 4,800 households with 23 trillion VND in compensation. On 05-02-2021, the Long Than Airport project was officially commenced with initial activities including building fences, clearing bombs and mines, leveling the ground, and constructing drainage systems. However, during the implementation of these tasks, a large amount of dust from the airport spread to surrounding residential areas, causing severe air pollution. In some areas, dust spread more than 10 kilometers. The contractor then had to dig water reservoirs with a capacity of 1,200 meter squares each to store water and supply water trucks to reduce dust dispersion into the air. The Long Than Airport construction project is divided into three phases. Phase one involves constructing one runway and one passenger terminal along with synchronized auxiliary facilities with a capacity of 25 million passengers and 1.2 million tons of cargo per year to be completed and operational by 2025 at the latest. Phase two continues with the construction of an additional runway with an open configuration and another passenger terminal to achieve a capacity of 50 million passengers and 1.5 million tons of cargo per year. Phase three completes the remaining project components to achieve a capacity of 100 million passengers and 5 million tons of cargo per year. The total investment for phase one of Long Tan Airport is nearly 109,717 billion VND, equivalent to approximately $4.7 billion. The project is currently in phase one with the construction of a 4,000 meters long, 75 meter wide runway, a passenger terminal and auxiliary facilities. On 29-9-2022, the Long Than Airport Air Traffic Control Tower and Air Traffic Management Facilities were commenced with a total investment of nearly 3,500 billion VNDs. The Air Traffic Control Tower is designed based on the concept of a lotus bud, with colors and architecture harmonized with the passenger terminal and surrounding structures. The control tower is 123 meters tall, equipped with radar on top with a construction area of about 80 millisquares and a tower shaft diameter of about 10 millisquares. The control cabin at the airport has an area of about 150 millisquares and two apron control cabins each have an area of about 70 millisquares. 
The equipment is designed with automation technology and an open orientation for future technological investments. This component is currently under construction for the tower extension from the 15th floor upward and is expected to be fully completed before 3005-2025. On the 318-2023, passenger terminal T1, runway number one, and the aircraft apron were commenced. The construction time for the passenger terminal is 39 months, expected to be operational and exploited from 2026. Runway number one is expected to be completed by 34-2025, three months ahead of the original schedule. To date, the dome roof of the passenger terminal, the central component of the Long Than International Airport Phase 1, has officially entered the completion stage with a steel structure volume of over 5,300 tons. The dome roof of the Long Than Airport Terminal is one of the most complex components and the largest in scale in the history of aviation passenger terminals worldwide. Designed based on the image of a grass leaf, a characteristic symbol of the Southeast region, the dome roof not only creates an architectural landmark, but also demonstrates the large-scale steel construction expertise of domestic contractors. This is a significant milestone for continuing the implementation of interior completion components inside the terminal. With a total steel roof volume of over 5,300 tons, assembled from 2.56 thousand connection points, the roof has a curved ring structure with an area of nearly 20,000 pues. The entire structure of this massive system was lifted by 56 specialized hydraulic jacks. The roof has a wavy curved structure with multiple stacked layers, simulating lotus petals, applying detailed 3D modeling technology. This not only requires high aesthetics, but also must meet stringent technical requirements of an international airport achieving 4F standards of the International Civil Aviation Organization. On the 26th floor 2025, runway number one of Long Than Airport has been completed and successfully tested the lighting system, ready to serve calibration flights. The lighting system uses LED technology imported from Europe, meeting the highest technical standards in international aviation. Along with that, Long Than Airport is equipped with a precision landing guidance system, helping aircraft approach and land safely, even in adverse weather conditions. These two systems work in sync, ensuring safe and precise takeoffs and landings in all weather conditions, enhancing operational capacity and stability for the airport. The biggest difference between Long Tan and the world's top airports lies in the operational strategy. While Changi focuses on shopping and entertainment experiences, Long Tan is designed as a multifunctional aviation city. In terms of scale, Longtan even surpasses Dubai when completed. But to compete, we need to learn from Istanbul Airport in Turkey, which connects 300 destinations just two years after its inauguration. From the muddy fields of 2020, Longtan is becoming a symbol of the nation's aspiration to rise. When the first commercial flight takes off in 2026, this is not just an airport, but a gateway to bring Vietnam into the top 20 largest economies in the world. Do you believe Vietnam will achieve this? Please leave your opinions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to watch the next episode.